I thought uh, I thought our student energy was tremendous. I know it wasn't a uh, packed house with students, but I thought they were great. And I thought the band was excellent in, in the way that they got it rolling, the cheerleaders, the whole thing. I mean, that, that's the kind of atmosphere that it needs to, to be because I think that kind of stuff helps us continue to get better. I thought these guys tonight really responded um, in, in, a, in a very positive way and um, hit a lot of good marks in the sense of uh, defensively, uh, second half, cutting the offensive rebounds down to three. Um, Troy being right near a double double was impressive. James's shooting was certainly impressive, but the 15 deflections was far more impressive to me because that's that's what you want to do. You want to get it to the point where your defense is creating your offense. And I think uh, we're two to one assist turnover ratio, which was really strong. We went through the paint a lot. We had six guys in double figures, and we changed defenses. Um, I thought we took care of the ball with with uh, we certainly didn't slow down. Um, and so we show that we can play uh, at, a, at a really good pace and also take care of the ball. But I thought the ball really, really moved well and it looked very accurate. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a good win to the start of a really busy week and a big week, obviously, because we're going on the road to Duke. But, but um, I thought they really responded over the last three days, coming back, getting off a plane on Friday night, um, taking a shower, getting something to eat, and going right to practice. And... Um, and then, you know, the time change starts to hit, you know, when you start to go back to school. And I thought they played with great energy. So really proud of all of them and um, proud of the way they prepared and proud of the way they came out and played the 40 minutes. First question. Fred um, I heard you mention on the pregame show that there was a, a film session in uh, Hawaii on Wednesday night. Who organized that? I think the players did. I was already gone. I think, as, uh, I think that uh, was Yogi and Max. Yogi, Max, and Nick, I think, put that together. Yeah. So I was already gone and heard about it when I got back, and I thought that was great. You know, that they did that on their own. So, and I think they went through the film. You'd have to ask them for sure, but I mean, I know they got a lot out of it. And we watched, we watched film back here. We watched more edits, but I think they watched the game, and that, that's good ownership. Uh, it seems that like over Yogi's four years, he's really matured and improved as a player. Um, how how uh, is it like the communication that you have with them on the court, and do you, what kind of freedom did you allow him? To have when it comes to play calling or anything like that? Well, um, I think he's got a lot of freedom. I think he plays, uh, plays knows our concepts very well. Um, I think he's improved and matured constantly. And I thought, I thought he set the point of attack tonight defensively really, really good. And, and he brought a lot of confidence to his teammates with his defense. So really that's the most important thing. Does, does, your, does your leader... Uh, is he is he unselfish? Is he a hard worker? Is he an excellent defender? Uh, and can he impact the game when it's not going great for him? And he's well on the way to doing all of those things. Uh, it seemed like early on, Al- Alcorn State was having a lot of success in the offensive glass, and then as the game moved along, you guys kind of. I think some of it we showed it at halftime. I think some was uh, we had it, at times we had three guys on the ball, which created backside boards. And at times we had two or three guys trying to block a shot, you know, which is not what you want. So a little bit of our rotations were not where they needed to be. So we want to rotate over, but we also want to rotate back. You know, so the weak side is really in the form of an eye. And, and, uh, and the terminology is V over, okay, which slides over to help on the drive or, or the post up. And then the V back slides back into it, and he's going to get the backside board. And then the other top guy becomes the center fielder, more or less. And we weren't getting that. It, we, we had too many guys rallying to the ball, trying to make a play, which is not a bad thing. But at the same time, when that ball is missed, there's nobody there to grab that board if the guard doesn't come all the way down from the top of the key, basically, from where they were at. So we got that adjusted. But really, we, we knew we wanted to change defenses more in the second half. And we did. And it got better. And the fact that we only allowed – I have to watch the film to see what our blockouts were like. But the fact that it was only three offensive boards was a positive. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, what went into the decision to uh, go with three guards tonight? I'm sorry? What went into the decision to go with three guards tonight? I just made it, basically. That's what I did. Just not the mind at all? Just... Yeah, I just kind of rolled the dice or put pick names out of that. No, it's, it's, it, there's, we want to get better at it, right? I mean, it's just, um, it's just we want to do different things. So, made the decision. You mentioned the time change, players coming back to class after Maui. Was it beneficial to have this game in between Maui and Duke to get back out there right away? Oh, absolutely, yeah. 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 There's no question about that. I mean, it wouldn't matter if we're playing Duke on Wednesday. You want to play a game, uh, well, especially a game of Duke's magnitude, you want to try to play another game. 
Because, because again, the, the time changes and things like that hit everybody, hit everybody differently. Personally, I'm glad that game is so late on Wednesday night. I think it's great. I mean, I know it's a prime time game, but I think it's great that it'll be that late. Give these guys a chance to get a little rest on Wednesday. They'll have a full day tomorrow before we leave. But um, yeah, it. Um, my first year here, we played on a Sunday. Um, I wasn't real. I wasn't real. wasn't real sure about that move. We inherited that move. That's tough. That's we won the game. We beat Cornell. I can remember all those wins that year, but um, which was a which was a big win for us in its own right. Um, but um, that's way too early. Way too early. So Monday, you know, Monday is um, Monday's about right. No, I think that the thing is it's going to be their first road game. That's the most important thing. It's going to be their first true road game in a very tough environment. I've coached against Duke and Mike. I've not coached that with Cameron, so I can't prepare them as much for that. But, but um, it wouldn't matter if I could. I mean, it's different, right? So that's the most important thing, that we stay in character, that, that, we, that we play the way we're capable of playing and uh, play through mistakes and try to eliminate the unforced ones as much as possible. Well, he just he just answered it because that's what he said because that's the whole key to come in. I think it, it's and it's it's so important that you focus on the other parts of it: the defense, the rebounding, the ball movement, moving without the ball. And it's amazing. It's amazing how that ball moves when everybody's doing the same thing, you know. And and it's just it, it, it were some great clips that we'll have to build on uh, inside of this game on ball movement, even on some missed shots. And uh, but again, it's the defense. It's coming out with an active energy, and it's coming out. Um, our defense, um, we can say it, it was a team that maybe wasn't as good, obviously, of the teams we played last week, or we could say that we were much better at attacking the ball and getting over screens. And, and we had some different things we were going to do defensively tonight that we never really got to, so we'll, we'll hold on to them. But, but that's what it is. It, it, it's really coming out with a defense, a rebounding, a ball movement mindset, and it's amazing. You know, we're not going to lose too many games. You get five, six guys in double figures, and, and he just happened to be – shooting it at an incredible rate, but he also created so much from his defense for himself and others tonight. To kind of go along with that with James, um, I guess defensively, how important was it for just for him to just have something tangible, something that he can kind of measure himself going forward? Today? Big time, big time. I mean, it, it's um, that's huge because, because they, they need, you know, we see it as coaches, but it's, and you can show it on film, but it's so different when they feel it and they do it themselves. It's so different. And, and they need those reminders that this is what it looks like. And I kept, I kept track of his deflections. Uh, I saw his points at halftime, and my eyes popped, right? I mean, I didn't realize I had that many, but I knew he was playing good defense. I knew we all were, and I knew we were moving the ball. But once I saw he had that many deflections at half, it was really, really important that he kept doing that. And he, and he really, I think he was at, uh, at nine and six. That's, in, that's important. Nine in the first, six in the second, with less minutes in the second. So... That's really important that you can continue to build on that with all of them. And there were numerous situations like that. Troy's rebounding, uh, the ball movement I've mentioned so much, uh, the rotations, getting – I think we'll be a lot happier when we look at the film and see how we attack the screens. You know, you gotta, you've got to attack um, – and we had ball screen problems there because of some of our coverages that guys aren't just ready to maybe do that as much yet. But it's still no reason that we can't be attacking our leg over the screen and just fight over the screen. And tonight, um, maybe the screens weren't as strong, but we, we were a lot stronger in our fight and our getting over the pick, and that's really important. Hey, hey Coach, you got a lot of players in this evening, and Harrison, matter of fact, Harrison scored his first bucket. Mm, uh, happy for him. He's worked hard. Hey, Rachel, on teams that uh, when players score their first bucket, maybe even like his was a three-pointer. Yeah, you know what? We ought to start some. I think we'll shave his head. You know, I think we'll give him a head shave. Hey, can we do that? I mean, we would we get in trouble? No, I think I think we'll just thank him and tell him to come back in and get it early tomorrow in the morning. He's had a full day. He lifted weights this morning. He did an individual. He's a great kid. And we had a little meeting yesterday about how important it is that he, uh, even though he's not playing, that he that he prepare and play like he's playing because his opportunity will come. And it could have come earlier tonight, but but I wanted to do a couple different things. But but we love having him. I mean, it's it's. He's going to be a good player here. So I'm just kidding about the shaved head. It won't happen. Yeah, I'm sure you can. So, so. Um, talk about the 
Oh, tremendous challenges. I mean, they drive to the rim, they get fouled. Um, they have inside outside attacks. Um, they really, really want to get fouled. I think Grace and Allen might be averaging seven or eight fouls drawn a game. That's, that's tough. So it's gonna, we're going to have to be really, really sharp defensively. It'll be interesting to see how the game gets called early. And, and, um, and I had a lot of conversations tonight with the referees. Not about, I wasn't arguing. It was more about understanding. It's still how you draw charges and, and on the perimeter. Um, and, and how you deal with a push off and there's still so much learning going on. I'm not one of those that has complaints about the rules and I don't have any complaints about the officiating. I have, it, we're all trying to understand it. And as long as the referees are good at helping me try to understand, I even asked tonight a couple, I said, tell him why that's a foul. You know, I mean, I, we do that all the time in practice and I guess, you know, get used to that, right? And it's not their job, but when they do, you know, everybody's trying to get better. You're trying to make the game of basketball better constantly. And if the rules are going to do that, let's do it. Let's just see how quick we can understand them. So Duke provides a lot of challenges because of the way they drive the ball. And they have very good spacing. And uh, they're shooting the ball at a high rate. Luke Kennard's coming off a, a really good game. And um, uh, Marshall Plumley. I mean, you think about it, he came out with Cody Zeller. Cody's in his third year in the NBA. I mean, Marshall is a – he is an energy force on their team. And um, – and uh, he's, he's going to be hard to deal with because of the length and his strength. And um, it, it's going to be, it'll be, it'll be a challenge. So we're looking forward to it, though. I guess just to, you talked about not being able to prepare a team for an environment like Duke. When you approach a game like this, whether you've got a young team, an experienced team, whatever, how much do you want them to kind of think about that and, and think about the gravity of a game like this and maybe use that as motivation? versus maybe getting too wrapped up in it and, and getting a little too intimidated. Oh, I don't think we'll have any trouble with I don't think we'll have any trouble with being ready to play a game like that. It's more just making sure we understand the personnel, understand what they want to do and understand how best we want to attack that. And and try to keep as um, try to keep as accurate and as um, you know, we want to play fast, but we just we cannot play reckless. You know, you can't play reckless against anybody and give the ball away and you certainly can't do it there. Thank you. All right, thank you. A couple side notes heading into the game. Uh, I, 